Hello folks, my name is Jason Sage with Jigus LLC and this video is about VTiger CRM 5.10 field mapping. Now in VTiger you have the ability to add some fields uh, to different entities such as accounts and contacts and you do that via the module manager which is right here. I'm in the settings area of VTiger. So when you first log in you see your home page just to give you a point of reference. Uh, you have your different dashboards and if you go to the settings area you can go to the module manager. You can see in the settings pull down there's also a link to go directly to the module manager. This allows you to add custom fields to different entities. Now this video is not just about how to map fields. It assumes that you've maybe played around with uh, adding a custom field but I just wanted to point out some important things that you need to know to be able to have leads appropriately map into accounts and contacts if you have any custom fields. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the leads module and we're going to just add a custom field. And the thing I want to point out that's extremely important to be able to do the mapping is that VTiger 5.1 does not really, um, it allows you to add a field easy enough, it allows you to place it easy enough, but it doesn't allow you to change the data type at all and it doesn't even allow you to really reference the data type at all without using some, uh, you know, back you know, office techniques to, to figure out what those fields really are underneath the hood, as it were, so to speak. So, um, one of the things that's very important to do, let's, just, we're in the custom, there's a, all right, I'm on the module manager leads layout editor, and I'm going to add a field. And when I do so, I want you to remember that some of the information that you're going to enter for a field, is, you're not going to be able to get back later. So, um, when you do want to add a custom field to leads so that you can map it directly into the contacts area or into the accounting the accounts entity area so that lead gets uh, converted properly and so that data does in fact map when you convert a lead to an account slash contact um, so, so that data is preserved you have to remember these bits of information that you enter when you create the custom field we're gonna make a text field called test you know for simplicity's sake um, I'm gonna use a length of 10 but that, that's the kind of information that's very important. This custom field is a text field. The label is test. The length is 10. You're not going to be able to get that length later. Um, you might be able to figure it out by playing around with doing an edit and trying to see how many characters it lets you enter. But in short, the, the main message I want this video to send out is that you need to re remember and take notes, careful notes, when you're creating your custom fields because trying to get things to map after the fact if you don't have them exactly the same it simply will not work in VTiger 5.10 so we have our test text field we have a length of 10 so I hit save and now I'm going to go to the accounts area and I'm gonna do the same thing so I'm gonna go back to my module manager I'm gonna edit the accounts area entity I'm going to go to my layout editor. I'm going to add the same exact information on a new field. It's text. The label is test. And the length is 10. And hit save. Okay, now we have that there. Now we're going to locate field mapping for leads. Module manager. I'm going to go down to the leads area. Leads, custom field mapping. Now, we have a field here that we can, we can map. It's already done so because it already, it's already aware that there's this, this, there is this custom field. Now, it's going to allow us to drop it in the accounts table because there is a custom field in the accounts table that is the exact same data type exact same length so it doesn't have any objections to it otherwise it just wouldn't show which is the case with the contacts entity now I could demonstrate or you could test on your own um, in fact I'm, I'm gonna leave it to you to do that to keep the video short but if you were to create a custom field in contacts for example that did not exist in the leads entity it wouldn't show naturally because you can't map it if the fields did exist but the data types were not exactly identical it wouldn't show here because the business logic or the logic that's under the hood here allowing this this field this editing of the field mapping um, for the leads entity just just wouldn't allow it to come in the data types need to be identical 
They need to be exact. You need to remember that and recall that. And maybe keep that somewhere either in your knowledge base, in your FAQ, um, or just somewhere in your CRM as a reference um, when you're doing this design so you have a place that you can go to as, as sort of a, a data dictionary um, to refer to what those data fields are. That will prevent you from having to do anything where you actually have to di dig into the database and try to figure out how that database is set up and try to figure out how to reverse engineer the data that's in it so you can find out you know what that data type is. So that's our recommendation um, for setting up custom fields appropriately in your accounts and context entity and as shown here the potentials is another one that you can map fields to you create the fields that you want to capture in your leads entity r write down all their data types and lengths and all the specifics about them and create them identically in the accounts contacts and potentials entities so that there's no problem when you actually want to adjust your field mapping so that you can import a lead or you can convert a lead and that data is captured appropriately and mapped to the entities that you wish it to be stored in. Well, that's all. My name is Jason Sage from Dragus LLC, and I hope this video will make mapping fields easier for you or more understandable when it's not working, at least to the reasons why, when you're working with your VTiger and customizing it to serve your marketing needs. Thank you.